What is up, y'all? It is your boy, Squid. I am back. Let me see. I'm making sure all my levels look right. Kind of was going through some things here a minute ago, trying to get this stuff all working. My, uh, the monitor that I was using, which is actually my TV, is not working right now, so I'm going to have to use my references on my MacBook over here. So, I mean, obviously you won't see me looking that way, but just so you know, uh, I kind of have stuff up in the in the view so i won't be able to to look at my stream labs like i normally would um i guess let's just get to it um if this is your first time here my name is the prize when this applies the prize winning squid uh i used to stream video game content and now i'm streaming uh drawing content because over the last year year and a half i have really gone hard on some artwork and learning how to do art Trying to find, figure out a good spot for this camera right here because i want to be able i want you guys to be able to see my screen you know just like what i'm looking at but also uh not have it in the way when i'm over here doing my thing um i have my microphone over here to the right if there's any issues with sound or anything let me know um i'm just kind of messing messing with things a little bit i'm trying to leave the music where it is and all that good stuff uh tonight i'm gonna do some some rendering so i'm gonna actually do some shading and and some lighting on this here piece that we do and i'm gonna show you how i do it what's up ryle stabby stab yeah it's been a minute homie it's been a minute but i'm back you know i'm over here just doing my doing my art thing um i'm gonna be rendering it tonight so with rendering i do like uh my shading and my lighting and all that good stuff um right now i'm working on uh some skin stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and rename one of my layers that's my skin layer um, generally when I do my shading, I usually start with, uh, the skin layer. So I'm going to just, I'm going to just pop off right at the skin layer. Go ahead and clip that to it. Everything's been, you know, it's been chill. Um, you know, like me and the family, we bought a house this last year and yes, procreate. Um, I did, however, start learning clip studio and I'll switch over to that for like half a second, but this is as it's loading my loading my stuff in, logging me in or whatever. Uh, hopefully it, it shows up. There we go. Um, I don't need to see the latest news. I don't know. Where's my recents? I was working on this little clip of, of Zelda. I've been I've been working on this today, uh, trying to learn Clip Studio Paint. So that's the other program that I'm, I'm starting to kind of learn. Uh, Procreate's my baby. I've been I've been messing with this for a couple years now and finally starting to get, you know, good enough to think I can do a little something with it, you know. How you been, homie? Like, what's been good with you? I'm kind of just getting back into it, you know? I know everybody kind of does their stuff differently or whatever, whenever whenever they're on, you know, stream. I don't really... I try to follow a lot of stuff that's going on, but I don't... I can't follow it as much as I'd like. Let me actually switch to the brush I normally use. So in Procreate, um, I took some brushes and kind of modified them for my, my use. Why is my oh yeah because it didn't switch to multiply that would be why um so i, I made them for my use you know and i kind of just mess with them like that um use a lot of use a lot of my shading to do stuff like adding depth to the nostrils and parts of the nose i think for for this picture i'm gonna have i'm gonna have the light coming from not the top but almost, it's almost that straight on kind of light, that portrait light. Um, so I'm going to be doing some of the general, the general shading that you do when you have the portrait stuff. I usually put down my, my color a little bit and then I do some smudging. So I'm just going to mess around, put my color down a little bit here. Uh, some things to kind of divide because I'm going to end up not having any line art. So just surviving or, I mean, like you making moves, like what you trying to do? I'm trying to see what everybody's trying to do because this year, I feel like 2023 going to be a good year. Like 2022 felt a little bit lost for me. Um, like good stuff was happening, don't get me wrong, but I think it was a recovery year for like a lot of people. Um, like me and my, me and my fiance, definitely that was a recovery year for us. Like a huge recovery year so we spent a lot of time last year just trying to 
trying to figure things out, trying to get the finances situated, you know. And now I feel like, all right, make sure my soft brush is selected. Now I feel like 2023 might actually be like a super good year. You know, I turned, like last year I turned 40. And so I've been spending a lot of time just kind of like diving back into the stuff what's up celestial b yo what is up homie you know i fucking miss your ass on here you know i've been i've been lurking in your shit for like the last probably month month and a half i really just been in there just like i'll pop it up but i'm just like dude, what do i say do i say something i don't want to draw attention you know not that i'm a draw attention type but i'm like i don't want to draw attention i don't want them to to be like squid what are you doing i'm like shit Oh my god, like don't don't do me like that. <laughs> Hold on, let me scroll up a little bit on this on this little chatty chat. Uh Ryle said, just keeping my head above water, trying to help good people when I can. I feel that. I feel that. I've been trying to do the same. A lot of just like making sure my people is good. Um because I did have some extra income last year, and that was good. And I was able to like help a couple people that I knew was kind of like struggling, wasn't in like the good place financially. And I'm like, well, I finally have it, you know, like I was, I'd been struggling for so long and I finally fucking had it. And so, you know, for me, I'm just like, if I can, if I can help out where I can help out, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to ever hold on to it just to hold on to it. You know, I'm going to make sure I'm good. My family's good. And then I got to make sure my other people is good. Like not just family. I mean, or family depending on you know how you kind of see things right because I, I count friends as family i know some people don't really see it that way but that's how i kind of see it celeste you'll talk about you know i'll draw all the attention don't do it don't do it don't tell the people i'm in there no i've really been just like i've been trying to just lurk on some people and just see what you know make sure everybody's doing good like bean you've been blowing up I was like, oh shit, I was in there when you had like 90 something people in there. I think he was doing Butts Fest. And I was like, yo, being over here blowing up, fucking just taking over the airwaves. I love it. I love it. I do need to buy the, uh, I do, do need to buy the coloring book. I haven't bought it yet. Um, but I saw that you posted that it was on Amazon. So I need to grab that. I need to snatch that up like ASAP. That's another thing I'm trying to do is like, I'm trying to chat moved so fast i bet it did like i was in there i had it up just chilling i was vibing i was playing like overwatch or something while i had it up and i was just like yo these numbers is crazy like being over here doing like number numbers like number 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 numbers i love but so i love that because i love that people is just like people is just like you know feeling what other people is doing riles i haven't been hiding necessarily right i've been like i've been i've been i've been lurking you know just like i've been chilling i don't want to say i've been hiding i've just been chilling right because like a lot of the time especially for you know for for twitch and stuff like what i do is i'll come in and i'll be in here and I'll be doing something else. And like, I can't put the controller down and type on the keyboard or type on the iPad or something like that. So I haven't necessarily been hiding. It's just more like, I jump in, I make sure my people is doing their thing. Everything's good with them. And then sometimes I just fade out and that's it. It's not really on purpose. It's just more like, I'll have my attention on something else. You know what I mean? Cause I would never, I would never hide like, I want my people to know, like, yo, you always support it, regardless. Like, regardless, regardless. So, so Bean, with the, with the Butts Fest, what was, like, what was popping off with that? Because I need to know, could I have entered, can I have, could I have entered a butt? <laughs> like, could I have entered a butt for real, for real? Also, thank you for, like, just, you know, just supporting me on like all the crazy shit I be doing, you know, and just like telling people about like the stuff I do. I like the, I think the art thing just went into fucking overdrive last year. 
because I was not expecting myself to really like buckle down and get as deep into it as I ended up getting. And I feel like I feel like super blessed that I can I'm now getting into that knowledge base that I can look at something and I can be like, okay, I know what I need to do to fix A, B, and C on this piece. Or I know how to look for what the fix is. You know, if I don't necessarily have it like in my head right there and then, I know how to like look at something and be like, oh, okay, that's how I can fix, you know, whatever that is. So it's like for having somebody like you, like honestly, like you, Lex Lingo, uh, Dan from Danji's Designs, like the three of y'all are people I've always looked at and always just been like fascinated with in terms of like, I mean, you as people, but also like your craft and like how you approach things or how you get things done. And like, I've always studied like the way y'all do things. You know what I mean? What the unpopular perusal? I wish I would like, I want to click to show that, but I'm not being straight destroyed. That person's entire ego, whole, whole ego is gone now. All right. So the face is kind of looking a little good. I'm going to work a little bit down here now. So I have to, I, so one of the things I've really been like kind of doing is I want to, when I work on a piece, I try to work on, on the face first. And then I just start going down from there. So usually it's like the chest is next. And usually the chest is kind of easy-ish. There's some, there's some things that I kind of look for um, to add definition. And so it's, it's a little bit easy-ish uh, to kind of like work on the chest. But because it is, I draw, I draw busty, bigger people. Uh, so all of my pictures, this area is generally the, is a focal area. I don't mean for it to be, it just is. Cause that's just the type of characters I draw. Has nothing to do with like any weird perversion or nothing. It's just, that's just what I draw. You know what I mean? I posted a call for submissions with short notice. We're doing a draw along tomorrow though. Ooh. I will bug you to submit something for next year's butt, butt fest. Rouse, listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna back out of my gallery. I'm gonna go to the gallery right right quick. I know I like I know I'm working on a piece or whatever. But listen, okay. I'm proud. I'm proud of this ass. Okay, I'm just saying. This was butt fest worthy ass right here that I could have I could have I could have submitted. But I didn't I didn't I didn't know. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. <laughs> when they double cheeked up, do I have another double cheeked up? I don't think I do. I think most of mine are from the front. I think that's the only one that's like double, triple cheeked up. Yeah, that's the only one that's double, triple cheeked up. So next year, that's death. <laughs> that's worth the ass. And I helped. <laughs> I like how that went along with the with the music. All right, get that, get that a little bit. So I know generally there's like collarbones like right here, but I don't, I don't try to add the collarbones in too much. I feel like they kind of muffle the piece. Um, I will kind of do kind of a slight definition, just, just enough. Just, just enough to have a little something there. So you know that there's a little something, you know, right there. Um, I'm gonna work on these fingers for a minute too. So I kind of want to get these fingers together. Fingers are my absolute weakness. What's up? Thank you for following Lipe and welcome, uh, Killer Koala. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate y'all. Let me scroll up a little bit on the on the chat. There was some stuff. Reggie Howard Art, thank you for the follow, homie. Oh my god, I appreciate y'all. I'm sorry if I'm not looking directly at the at the screen. Uh, generally, I have my screen to my right, which is my MacBook. I usually have it for uh, my stream and the chat and everything. But the monitor that I use for my uh, my references and everything. Oh my God, Leon Bezzy, thank you for the follow. 
our sci-fi thank you for the follow oh my god thank you i appreciate y'all coming through i'm just in here i'm doing some shading doing some doing some rendering work tonight you know nothing too crazy if y'all i heard you're a good bean i try to be i try to be i try to be a good bean i think the best bean though in here definitely is celestial Oh, Celestial Bean over here, being the best bean that there is. Which I saw, uh, Celestial, I saw you posted that, was it your birthday or it was something uh, where you said it was like bean day? And I was like, bro, you got to be kidding me. The coincidence is too strong right there. Like entirely too strong. So my new people, what y'all doing? Where y'all coming from? Like, let me know. I said, yes, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, I was just, I'm laughing because I didn't think that that would actually be like, you know, when you think of like coincidences or whatever, and you just like, hold on for a second. And the science experiments on beans eventually helped bring people to space. So you a space be <laughs> Oh my god. Yo. You a fucking space bean. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. We got space beans in here. And if you know what's good for you, we a baked bean too. Say all right. Right. These are... These are peeps from Killer Koala. Whoa, thank you, Killer Koala. Thank you for coming through. Like, I appreciate y'all, man. Shit. Me, I'm just back on here, just doing some art stuff. I, um, right now I've been working in Procreate, but I started messing with uh, Clip Studio Paint the other day and kind of getting familiar with it. Like, I've never, so before Procreate, I never really uh, did digital art. Uh, like I messed around in some programs like I messed around in Photoshop and paint shop pro and all that, you know back in the day But I never really it was I never had a tablet to like draw or any of that. You know what I mean? Bean, I miss your face who goddamn Oh Reggie you fell in the chair. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna go back to chat and race right second. We go We go so it's kind of stained a little bit because it's been through some stuff But like my, pink is like one of my favorite colors ever. You know what I mean? One of my favorite colors ever. So I had to get me the pink chair, the pink gaming chair. You know what I mean? Just had, I had to make it happen. And it's so comfortable too. Like I spend probably eight to nine hours in this chair. Cause like I work my day job in this room. And then, uh, then I'm gaming and then, you know, drawing. I do have, so I have the, you know, the iPad or whatever. So I'm like drawing wherever I can. Um, but I am looking at Huyan to, oh my God, what? Kill a koala. What is up everybody? Thank you for coming through. Jesus, y'all. I'm just in here just doing some procreate. Um, oh my God. Thank y'all for coming through. Kill a koala. I appreciate the hell out of you. Jesus. Oh my god, thank y'all. Y'all making day number two of me coming back to streaming just like magical, man. I'm just in here. I'm doing some some whack shading on this. Oh my god. My dear guitar, thank you for the follow. Jesus. Y'all really got me. I'm in my feels a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I kind of, I came back to, to doing this. Keeman uh money arts is that how you say your name you're doing amazing thank you celestial like i am be honest with you i don't know i have no idea what i'm doing half the time i just i do things until i think they look okay and then i'm like all right it can go and sometimes it don't come out as as well as i want it to or it takes a lot longer than i would want it to take which kind of sucks but like the last picture i did um and I'll, I'll just pop over to it real, real quick just to kind of show y'all. Like, the last picture I did was this one. And it this one took, like, 20 hours because 
I don't know what I was, there was just, there was issues and I had to like combine so many layers. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of looking at Clip Studio, um, you know, to, to like mess with because I feel like Clip Studio will give me more layers than Procreate. Um, and, and so I was having some issues with this, this image, but so, you know, this is, this is like what the finished result of like my stuff looks like or whatever. Uh, just to kind of like, this was another one where I had a lot of, I had issues. I had to combine a lot of, a lot of different stuff, uh, a lot of different layers to get it to, to actually work. So I'm, I'm switching over to clip studio paint because I know I'm going to have more layers and I'm going to have, you know, more things I can do layer wise. Uh, but I'm in procreate tonight. You know, I'm, I started working on this the other day, did the sketch. And then yesterday was when I actually did line art and the, uh, and the and the base color and so you know i just i work kind of at my own pace it's not too fast i don't think i work too slow but then there's some people i know who complete something within like they're five hours on here oh thank you thank you leon uh and and thank you reggie and and lipey like just i appreciate y'all man i really do um i redid my logo signature because the old one was very phallic looking which I mean, you know, it's a squid. Like all squids are phallic looking. Please, if y'all, I know a, a bunch of y'all came over with Killer Koala, but if you have not uh, messed with Killer Koala, go over. Please follow. Uh, just Jesus, man, I was I wasn't expecting that. I've honestly, I think the most people I've ever had on here was probably like thirty ish something, um, and not that the number of people matters or anything, but that just. That is, you know, having a raid of, of those people is, uh, you know, it makes me, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like maybe I'm doing something that the people can enjoy and be entertained by and all that good stuff. So I freaking appreciate y'all. Uh, Killer, Bean suggested you, yes. Um, when you said she be a squid question mark which the the logo i'm not sure bean bean you know when you see bean you gotta sing bean's name right you're like bean how have you been all right I think I'm getting that one a little bit good. I kind of want to do, I'm going to focus on these arms here because I'm really, I'm really enthused by like the arms and the, the shading on the arms themselves. I love doing, so one of my things is I love doing like skin folds and folds on clothing and stuff like that. I just love the way it ends up looking. And it's probably, it's like the most fun when like you nail it and especially when you nail it like the first time, you're like, shit, I don't have to make any changes to this. Uh, zoom out, look a little bit. Okay. Starting to look starting to look pretty decent, I think. And this is about the speed that I work normally, like when I'm just kind of by myself. I generally am like either at this desk or downstairs with my family. Um, I started streaming at this time because my fiance and my stepdaughter are actually in bed. So I can spend time with them and then come and stream for a couple hours. Work on some stuff that I'd normally just be working on, you know, and just like chit chat with like. Just said, <laughs> just said popka, a non-binary black man. Hmm. Such poppycock. <laughs> what? How's it poppycock though? We're all squids here, which is a British exclamation. Squid Lady is what my made up for is what my made up for some reason. You said you were drawing a squid, I thought. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. No. Unless unless there's squid parts squid parts down there that I don't know about. At which point I do have some questions. I, I do have some actual like legitimate questions because how? And also why? And also feet are my weakness. 
uh, hands are not my weakness. I think I, I can do hands pretty well. Feet, feet are 100% my weakness. I cannot do feet for shit. I am Rob Liefeld when it comes to feet. And I have done feet studies. More feet studies than is really, is really like necessary. And it's kind of scary because then it looks like there's something else going on there, which there's not. It's just feet. And I still can't draw feet. You're making me stabby. The British are fond of double Dumbo entrees. Oh, I love me a double entree. So what we eating? We eating uh, steak and roast beef? Need food and water. Lipey, listen. Listen, feet are the absolute roughest things to draw. Like, even with, even with references, I cannot get feet the way that I want. And so usually I use a, an app called VizRef on my iPad. Um... But because some of the pictures that I use are of friends that I've asked if I can use their likeness uh, for a pose or just like they do makeup. So it's like, OK, cool. You do makeup. I want to make sure, you know, I'm, I'm getting the makeup on this character right. And I'm going to use you as a base. I don't want their pictures just randomly out on uh, on Twitch. So I've actually just been exporting my stuff a little bit at a time to Pinterest in a hidden folder that only I can see. And then that way I can just pull my stuff up even on on, you know, on stream. I can probably pull it up and just like hide the stuff I don't want seen. Is that a squid? What's up, goblin? What is up? And give me a what? What is up? So art sci-fi got to go. Thank you, Bean. Appreciate that. We don't do that in here. If you come in, you got to be cool. We don't do we don't do shitty language. We respect everybody's pronouns in here. And yes, it's not it's not weird to be non-binary and also say that you are a guy or a girl or whatever. I'm a squid, as y'all can see. Obviously by the number of arms that I have and the tentacles that are uh actually out here drawing today but yeah just be respectful you know that's what with this this for <laughs> i'm a pie lipey la pie am i saying that right lie pie or lipey how do i say it what kind of pie are we talking though we talk like what kind of ingredients you got in this pie i need to know right because i'm like i'm a giant squid right lie is a sweetie lie seems like awesome like everybody who's come in except for you know they who shall not be named uh everybody's been super super freaking cool man and so i appreciate everybody just coming in and just you know being cool asking questions just be respectful that's all i ask because i want people to when you come to streams like this i want y'all to just you know enjoy yourselves just chill a little bit like actually i completely forgot to take my sleeping pills before i started so generally i've been timing these to uh end when i'm probably gonna fall asleep so that's about two two and a half hours and i completely forgot to take my sleeping pills today so i'm taking them now so don't mind me chewing into your ear sorry okay so i am gonna come back to uh the skin let me actually do this part right here but i want to do some other things real fast uh, make sure i'm concentrating on some other some other stuff um so generally when when i do uh you know all of my my shading i'm gonna group this hair together so this is the hair and then i duplicate it and i create my i flatten it and this is going to be my hair comp so the hair comp is what I use to do my shading. Uh, I turn the original hair off, but if I need to go back and fix something, I keep it there. So I'm gonna go from essentially top down uh, here. I'm not gonna work on the hair comp yet. I'm gonna actually start with the nails and do the shading there. So it's gonna be the, the lips and the nails are both gonna get shaded first. And I put everything in its own group. I'm like entirely too super organized with this. 
but I was finding that with so many layers, one of the issues I was having was essentially losing, losing focus, you know? So I want to make sure like I'm actually getting all the layers. You think it wasn't a hard ask, <laughs> right? If you need a subject to draw, let me know. I got a pal. Um, I have a lot of stuff like on my, on my, my agenda Riles, but at some point I will ask for people to give me ideas and I might be able to do like one or two of them. Uh, it just, what? It just got a whole lot stinkier in here. What's up, Mrs. Brainbow? First time chatter. Ooh, my layers are always just garbage. Goblin, what do your layers look like? I need to know. Actually, does anybody do layers the way I do them or is everybody else's layers just like complete unorganized whatever and you're just hoping you just hoping you figure it out in the end so i was originally not naming stuff and then i got really confused and started accidentally drawing on the wrong layers and that's literally what what changed everything i had to make sure that i was drawing completely on the right layers because if i don't do if i don't do the right layers man this picture is not going to come out the way it needs to come out also what are y'all drawing on so I'm doing, I'm on iPad Pro right now, but I started looking at this Huion uh, pencil dis or pen display. And when I tell y'all that I'm like falling deeply in love with it, but I don't have the money to get it right this second, but I need to, I'm planning to get it. Like there is no, there's no explanation that can tell y'all how badly I need this pen display. It's like the, the prettiest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It comes with like, a stand and everything. <laughs> Goblin said, I'll just hope against hope. War. War never changes. Old Soldier 76 over here. Said that, <laughs> said he's seen some shit. Being in the halls of Valorant. Just hoping against hope that you can actually get your layers looking right. I saw it was somebody and they literally <laughs> they literally had like their layers was just like layer one, layer two, and it went up to like layer 175. And I was just like, you know what, bro? <laughs> Your project with God now or the goddess or which, whatever you believe in, it's with them now. All right, got that. I do like the lower side of of each of the nails. I put on like a, an epic playlist and I think it might be a little too epic for what I'm doing. I really need to actually have like an epic piece, like some knights or something that I'm drawing while I do this shit. This really is like, this is an R&B, like acoustic kind of piece. I feel like, I feel like this chick would just be like chilling in the grass, reading Reading some good ass fantasy book, you know what I mean? She says she wants to read some Robert Jordan, some Mercedes Lackey or something. That's the kind of character that I'm seeing visualizing with this, you know, this drawing right here. She's very much me when I was like 20 years younger. That's how my one friend works, like 300 named layers. Are you what? What? Why? How? What? I'm confused. I'm thoroughly con how? That's not even possible. Like that honestly is that's against nature. Like you're not allowed to do that. I'm pretty sure that if you download a program like in the actual terms of service for the program, it says you cannot have 300 layers that do not have names. That is just like layer one through. It's against the law. I'm call, I'm literally just going to call it like, focus ADHD like goddamn. So for me, because it takes me so many days to work on a piece, because I don't I generally don't get to sit down and do like and like work for like hours and hours and hours. Usually when I'm working on a piece, I'm like working on something for like an hour, hour and a half. But then I, I have to go do other stuff. Right. So like half the time. It's me just working, you know, like at my normal like day job. Um, I call. I was about to call it eyes again. Shading for the eyes, and then we'll put this in a group. 
so like when I'm when I'm actually just working, like my normal day job, I don't I can't I can't really like draw draw. So if I'm not focused on drawing and I come back and I don't know what a layer is for, I will delete the layer. I can't I, I literally can't do it. So however your friend is able to do that shit, that's magic. They got to bottle that. Somehow they got to bottle that shit. Like to tell you I'm jealous is like an understatement. Let's get these eyes looking a little sexy here. Goblin, did you ever think that after we met or whatever, I'd finally delve deep into some shit like this? Because you were the one who did all of my stuff originally. Like, I'm still flabbergasted at the way you made me look like I was breaking apart. Like, that shit was dope, man. You're jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> this feels like old times. I like this. I know, it does feel like old times. Minus me acting like a freaking idiot. I mean, that, so, being that was kind of one of the reasons why I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta take a break. Because I felt like, I was feeling, like, super overwhelmed. And I was just like, I really want, I just want to chill. You know, I want to have some some nice little chill stream. Like, no chaos. I want to come in here. I want to, and I want to be productive. I think that was the other thing, too. It's like, when I'm streaming, I want to be productive. I want to be working on something, whether it's, you know, like music or, or art or something like that. I want to be working on something and just feeling good about that thing that I'm working on. And so I just kind of, like, wanted to, you know, dial back and kind of just focus on on getting better at like this this thing that has now taken over my life because this is no longer a hobby this is just this is the shit i do now and i mean you get it like you understand and so like i think for a little bit there i was literally i was like literally just lurking in people's streams like i would i would bounce around to different people Around about eight, nine o'clock at night. Why did that move like that? Um, and then I just didn't have the the spoons to like to talk, to chat. Cause I couldn't like focus on the screen. I just like to have the people up and just like listen to y'all talk. So I would just go in there and just sit in there. And then after a while I was just like, all right, well I gotta go do some other stuff so i stopped going on twitch for a little bit and then you know finally started coming back maybe a couple months ago and just like looking at what everybody's doing making sure my people was good everybody's you know prospiring wait is that a, is that a real thing prospecting no i don't fucking know what i'm saying man scroll up a little bit uh being said that mindset is what keeps me productive feel that which i was always i was that was one of the things i was always jealous at your productivity because i always felt like miss rainbow thank you for the follow you are now a moon mage um yeah being like your productivity always i was always jealous of that shit because i didn't understand i didn't get like how you were so good at doing like what you're you're capable of doing and at the speed you can do it and so i was always just jealous of that you know and i'm and like i'm still jealous of it but now i understand I'm like damn like you got that drive like the homie has that drive you got that thing inside yourself that keeps you just going uh goblin said i know we haven't had a chance to talk recently but your art has been like the one thing i checked facebook for and watching your improvement has been fantastic thank you homie like, honestly, it's because I look at my shit and I go, it sucks. I got to get better if I'm going to publish something else. It literally is that. That's the thing that just just uh, keeps me going. You know what I mean? Like, all right, this whatever I just worked on fucking sucks. I'm doing I'm trying to, like, do this erasing thing like I do in Clip Studio. But anyway, I'm like, whatever I just worked on sucks. I need to do better. Let me keep going. 
and i think that's what that's what's kept me like super motivated but also i'll look at something and be like hold on how do they do that i want to figure out how to do that you know and just kind of going from there like it's weird because i feel like i don't improve as much as other people have said i have but then i'll i'll pull back and look at like where i was this time last year and i'm like oh shit okay i have <laughs> wait oh okay they're not they're not just gassing me to gas me no that's actually a that's actually a thing that's going on you know what i mean you make me want to pick up uh figure drawing again i'm so out of practice and relearn the digital art you gotta do it draw me like one of your french girlies shit draw me like one one of your french not goblins not girlies goblins i like prospiring <laughs> Let me... oh my god perspiring yes perspiring i don't fuck it. you know what? it's literally just practice and you prove that this last year that's so true with being the creativity is real i just don't feel inspired to just sketch stuff like ever you are your own worst critic reggie for real you are your own worst critic 100 100 uh being said you got to step back to see it sometimes yeah which is like i think that that also keeps you i don't want to say humble but it keeps you focused on improving because you could look at a piece and be like, man, that's the best piece that I'll never do anything better. And then everything that you learned from what you just did, you turn around and you do something infinitely better. And it's at like that point when you're like, okay, shit, I got to keep going, you know? And I think that's, that's kind of helped, especially just like looking at what friends have done and kind of, you know, taking it from there and, and studying what they've done too. Like, you know figuring out like okay how did they use those brushes or how did they how did they get that perspective or this thing that that worked in this piece why did it work and why when i try it in this piece it didn't work ah oh, okay it's like this so yeah that, i mean it's 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 a it's a journey like it's not a sprint i don't i'm not giving up on anything you know tomorrow or anything it's just it's funny to kind of like take a step back and just realize like where you were just in any aspect of your life you know take that step back look at where you were a year ago two years ago and just realize like oh shit okay i have made an improvement and sometimes it feels like even better to do that step back because i'm like oh Okay, now I, I can gas myself up a little bit. I won't stop, but I can gas myself up just a little bit, you know, to keep it going. So I picked this outfit um, just as an aside. I picked this outfit because it has a lot of uh, folds. And doing outfit folds is probably like my favorite freaking thing ever. Uh, skin folds too. Like I love the way like a skirt, like a pleated skirt looks when it's flapping in the wind. I think that is the dopest thing, especially when you draw it and you can see like the way the light, you know, bends off of like a certain piece of like the skirt. And so I picked this outfit. It's like a runch kind of dress thing uh, that was on... I think it was a uh, fashion nova curve and so i took the base idea of that dress and drew it because i thought that would look so dope and of course like a lot of my reference art comes from um sites like that because i think when it's it's people who have like people who are built like me like a little bit bigger we got guts you know we have the we have bigger chests of all sizes when they do the pictures they generally do them outside or do them in poses that aren't supposed to be like ultra sexy and because of that you get to see more of whatever the outfit is like it's almost like they don't want to sell they don't want to sell that to people who are bigger for whatever reason but from a, a pose standpoint, like, that's good for me because 
I can come in and use that cool pose or use that cool outfit in ways that make the person look attractive or feel attractive. And like, I'm not trying to make provocative art or anything, but I'd like, I like people to feel something when, like, when they look at whatever I'm working on. And so I super appreciate just having, like, the plus size uh, clothing sites, you know, to kind of look at references and poses and outfit references. Plus, generally, they have, like, they have better outfits, too, because, like, you have, so for something like this, I don't think, I don't think something like this works as well with somebody who's a little bit thinner because you don't have enough of the folds, like, there's not enough runching and enough folds to go on but it's almost built for somebody who's bigger to have those folds and to make it more a more interesting like flow and fabric so i kind of did this on accident generally i'll come back in and i'll add highlights down here in this section but because my shading didn't meet up with it i'm just gonna like leave it there because i'm gonna have I'm gonna have a little highlight right there to do some separation uh, when I lower the lines because most of my art does not have line work and does not have line art uh, in the finished product. So I'm gonna let that kind of just sit there like that because I want to. I do want to come back and kind of like mess with it a little bit after I do like some of my highlights and all that. Um, I'm gonna have to do some fold work here because I do have the. I have the line art for the folds, but I need to make sure that this these folds actually look like supernatural. Or natural. I mean they could look supernatural too. Has some skeleton boobies. You know, some vampire boobies, something like that. I love that part of your style. Wait, which part? This part? I can't linger too long. Can't linger too long. Twitch will ban me. Like, ah, it seems that you were showing cleavage on your stream tonight. Like, uh, yes, uh, officer. Sorry. It was, uh, I was drawing a dress. I do apologize. Now I'm getting into that that focus right there. So I can see that this this line right here is going to be really interesting when I turn the the line art off. So I'd use my line art just as a guide. Cleavage on stream? Never. I can't have cleavage on stream. That's illegal. Damn. Riles about to get stabby stab in here. Chill out, Riles. Chill. Bring it down a couple notches. They're going to come after us. They're going to ban both of us. Be like, were you with this, this Kirby impersonator with a knife? No. No, Officer Hyde. 100% wasn't. I was over here drawing cleavage on stream. Maybe like, all right, well, you got to go anyway. I'm like, all right. Sorry. Then that's my short-lived uh, Twitch careers, <laughs> getting banned for drawing titties. All right, I want to do the folds kind of on the side right here. Need to turn that down, turn that up a little bit. And then I do also kind of like do where the two parts meet. Like if it's if it's something over top of something or something edging up, I usually put a little bit of shadow and then a little bit of highlight right there because I have found while staring at just real life, whatever, is that generally you see a little bit of the shadow and a little bit of a highlight and that's what kind of like separates shit. Nah, people draw way more booba than what you're doing. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did go into an art uh, thing the other day and I saw just I, 
what are you supposed to do with all that? You know what I mean? Like, what are you supposed to do with all that? I said, not if they're covered. Then I hide. I take off the freaking uh, clothing layer, and then it's just straight, straight naked pity right there. Which I have never done, and I don't. That's that's like, I appreciate people who can do it, but I'm not interested. If that makes sense. I find like, I find like drawing the clothing far more interesting than just being like, yep, here it is. But I appreciate other people who can do it, like. I have also been a uh, enjoyer of fine elements such as that. I too am a squid of culture. I always thought it was like weird when people would be like, all right, you're going to go to this art class and there's going to be somebody just kind of like in the center. I was like, is that really, is that really a thing? And I guess only when you're like super studying anatomy, otherwise you're just kind of like learning to do whatever. We but a squid in a top hat emote. We need a squid in a top hat emote. You know what? I'll do it. So I'm, I want to leave your emotes, uh, the ones you drew for me, I want to leave those available. And then I want to add on and just have weird squid shit that I draw. All right, so I have I kind of have that runched a little bit. I'm gonna work on the top now, like right up here, because I kind of neglected that. I was messing with those. I tunnel. I honestly tunnel vision that bottom half of that fucking dress. I will not lie, or at least the bottom half of the top right there. I, I tunnel vision that hard. So I need to actually go back up here, kind of smooth these out a little bit. So it's going to be super, super hard doing uh, Clip Studio because Clip Studio does not work the way that I'm doing this. And so I'm just now starting to mess around with trying to uh, color a piece in Clip Studio Paint. And so I don't know how that's going to look and how that's going to go. And I'm kind of worried that I won't be able to make the transition as smoothly as I thought I would. You know how it is. All right, I think for this top half, I'm good. I'm going to do the bottom half now. Because this, I feel like this, this is the part that's going to take me the longest. And that's mostly because of how many folds is in this bad boy. So I think the way I want to divide this uh, I'm going to look at areas where I know the light won't be hitting. So that's going to be a, pretty much where her leg, where the dress is like going or right next to uh, her legs. I'm going to do this. And then here, because the light, the way I'm visualizing light is that it's kind of, it's kind of like coming down this way. If you can see like where I'm pointing on that other little screen, uh, it's kind of coming down this way. So there are going to be some some shadow areas and some lit areas and places that normally if it was just straight on, uh, you wouldn't see either in shade or lit. So we have that one and then this leg is up. So I need to make sure that like the dress is kind of folding in on itself right here. Get that nice tightly wrapped. And love with life and the world and everybody's loving life play. and if you feel good about yourself and the world it'll show in your pain and all these little things will happen that is 100 bob really knew his shit man 
Bob 100% knew his shit. Goblin said, I want to start redoing some of my emotes. Maybe a hype instead of... Wait, what is that emote? Hold on. Oh, pa the poggers. Uh, something other than... Really? And making... Lol into a wheezy emote. Bean said, like this. Hold on. I'm clicking it, Bean. I'm clicking it. It's going to take my little... Culture. Oh my god. God damn it, Bean. God damn it. I might need I don't wanna I don't wanna steal it. I don't wanna steal it. But like that's so good. I might have I might have to steal it and draw it in my style. I'm sorry. I apologize. All credit to you though. All credit to you. It's so fucking good. I too. I'm a squid of culture. Open every stream like, I too am a squid of culture. Let's talk about art fundamentals tonight. With the prize winning a squid. Like, ah, yes. I consume only the, the finest of fish and other bullshit from the sea. Fun fact, I don't like seafood. Take it, it's not stealing. I want to see you draw in your style. All right, 100, okay, hold on. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it and then I'm gonna save it so that I can import it and draw it in my style. Cause this shit is wild, I fucking love that. Like I fucking love that. Did you ever see, um, my, I forget what I, I was calling them now, but it's like my rip off, uh, my quote unquote rip off Pokemon. This music though. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. This music is literally the best shit. It's so random. Like, I don't know why it's playing this. I was like, oh man, put this on like an epic playlist. It's like, yes, my lord. And then it's this. It's fucking Nick Nick Cage as Dracula. Like showing up at your at your AA meeting. That's what this music is. Speaking of which, is anybody about to go see that? I said ominous. I'm not mad at it though. I'm gonna let it play. Like it's it's got me in the mood to draw, so let's go. Said I'm fine with that. <laughs> Have you ever joined a stream in which creepy, uh, sinister music is playing while you're drawing pretty ladies in sundresses enjoying their favorite fantasy author? Like on a sunny day? <laughs> no, I want to draw instead of sleep. Fucking do it. Goblin, do it. Like, so what I've been doing lately is I will put on uh something on like YouTube or whatever and just like have that going while I draw. Now mind you, it's not always like drawing related. A lot of it is like uh like about crime and just other just really weird and gross shit that I shouldn't probably shouldn't be like watching right before bed but it doesn't bother me i never have nightmares about it i only have nightmares about like work or like uh liminal spaces or something cyrax is it cyrax is what cyrax what i've been watching or is the music cyrax me falling asleep to no sleep <laughs> the reggie already knows like oh you ain't trying to go to sleep Cool, because you ain't going to go to sleep ever again. And, like, what is this? Like, why are we marching off to battle and also being scared that, like, Sauron is literally casting his eye at us? Like, I don't get it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not mad at this though. Like this is 
it kind of gives me like some some prince of persia vibes a little bit which is kind of nice too since that's like one of my favorite uh game series all right i'm gonna do this under part of the skirt right here because this is going to be like way darker than any of the other part of the clothes. So I just want to make sure it's like super, super dark. I feel like I should be drawing something else but this. I don't usually remember my dreams or have nightmares though. So, I mean, I don't, so I don't have nightmares per se. I have like, where I wake up and I'm like, man, I would have really busted that dude over his head. Or I would have... And it's usually like when I say I'm going to bust the dude over his head, it's like it's the serial killer. Or it's, it's you know, just something like some cryptid or something like in the dream. And I was fighting it. Or like I'll have liminal spaces dreams. And I've been having those like all my life, but I finally had a name for it. I can remember one specifically where... I was fighting somebody and fell off the edge of the world. And then as I was falling, I was falling into darkness, of course, as you do. And like I turned and looked at where we fell from, and it was just like beams, like uh roller coaster beams that are holding up, you know, like roller coasters or whatever. That was what was underneath the world. That was the only thing holding up the world. And so those are like the joint those those if I have nightmares, like that's that's the nightmare that I kind of have. So it's always just like super weird shit like that. All right, so I'm I'm adding in some some stuff right here. It's where the the fabric is bending a little bit, so it's nothing too crazy, but it's something to just kind of like heighten it. So that I can when I add in my my highlights, it'll look kind of cool. Like especially like a spot right here where it bends in and over itself and then i can add in uh highlights in between this like little section this is when like i get bogged down in the details because i love doing this part so much <laughs> goblin said oh this isn't cyrax this music is terrible we're literally at the gates. My version of the serial killer thing is weirdos on the internet. I mean, that's not even like a version of the serial killer thing anymore. That's literally just, that's it. That's the thing. You know what I mean? I don't think ep Epidemic Music really thought this through when they were like, all right, man, let's add the, uh, let's add the epic playlist to like people shit and i was like oh man like the epic playlist like hell yeah man i want some lord of the rings type shit in there i guess i got it so i'm just trying to add like little interesting things on the fabric because there's so much yellow down here so it just kind of gives you something to to like move between look at and then up here I need to kind of have these fabric and skin folds move in a little bit This kind of reminds me of uh, the, what is it, the new, is it Crisis Core, the new game? That I literally bought and have not opened yet? Don't tell nobody. Me, as big of a Final Fantasy fan as I am, have not even, like, looked at the disc yet. Me and my crew pull up, we hit the drift scene, we hit the drank scene, Cyrex can't drive. <laughs> Cyrex can't drive. All right, let me look at... Ah, uh, here's one. This one's going to be nice and satisfying right here. Oh, I 
love how this looks. So I might actually, what time is it? Midnight? Got about another hour in me. The pills have not kicked in yet. So we might be able to do some, some highlights tonight too. So after I put my highlights down, that's when I just start like messing with different parts of the picture and figuring out like what is and isn't working. Some little tweaking here and there. Right here. What the fuck? What is literally playing right now? Dog, you really... I gotta get out of here. Why? Like, what... What literally... Hold on. Where is my... Where's my window? Where's my window? Oh, Lord. I don't know where my window is. My window has disappeared. I've got to find this window. There it is. There it is. All right. Hold on. I'm changing. It's called Mist. Mist of. What is this called? Mist of Anger. Bro, this is literally in the soundtracks. All right. What are we feeling? We Do we want, like. <laughs> I'm loving you. Listen to this shit. <laughs> Reggie, you the only one. And for some reason, like, my Mac thinks it's connected to this other monitor and it's not so i can't even see like half of my windows like this is literally the craziest shit i've ever listened to hold on hold on we gotta go somewhere else we gotta get a different mood in here we gotta get uh do we want euphoric dreamy uh happy quirky what are we feeling no -uh. <laughs> okay you want me to leave it okay i'll leave it i'll leave it i won't change it if we loving it i will not change it I won't change it. I won't touch it. I was just like, what is this? I mean, mind you, like, I don't mind shit like that, but I didn't think I was conducive to a stream, but if y'all feeling it. Oh, shit. Oh, it's the uplifting, the uplifting motifs. Oh, I gotta do right here. So I'm trying to look where I actually did some of my lines before. And that gives me an idea of like where I need to do some of my, my shading work. Ooh, this feels very Final fantasy -esque. Like, I'm feeling we're on a journey. Hey, look, it's turning around. It really is, like. Oh, shit, hold on. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Got to turn it up for y'all a little bit. Oh, yeah, baby. feels nice oh yeah when they hit them chords right there
they threw in a little light electric guitar right there oh that was nice I do need to be drawing like uh like something from final fantasy 6 or something right now like to this it just it's giving me that that mood like i should be drawing like terra in the in the magitech or maybe even like something after the opera or something you know what i mean like it's nice I think I'm gonna do the edging lines now. So generally, that's on parts that meet other parts. And so it gives the illusion of a little bit of shadow right there. Could be her book cover. Hell yeah. Oh man, like so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually save this one. Might put this on repeat at some point i'm fucking loving this that was nice that was fucking nice man So I'm going to do these lines. So these lines right here, I'll end up putting uh, a highlight line right next to it. And it gives it kind of an umph. Kind of gives it some depth. Some 3D-ness, if you will. I was going to do something on the bottom of the dress, but I'm going to just leave those lines alone. I'm not going to do anything on there. Oh, this is giving me Metroid vibes. Here, but I'm gonna put it right here. All right. 
that. Now I'm going to turn the line art down even more. About seven. Okay, so that's the my first shading pass. So now I'm going to do my first uh, lighting pass. I'm gonna give her some like nice cheeks. Might make this more orangish, a little bit lighter. This is literally making me want to work on my comic book. I said your blending is so smooth. Thank you. Thank you, Reggie. I've been there's stuff that I'm I'm like trying to figure out like blending wise. You know, so it's like there's things that I know I can fix and do better and sometimes like it doesn't come out exactly the way I want. Um like this piece is kind of like I think it's a little too bright right in here so I'm gonna erase it a little bit but I don't want to erase too much right like I just want to I kind of I feel like people get scared to like hell yeah hold on it's making me want to draw fantasy hell yeah bean draw fantasy shit You know I'm going to give Reggie that follow here in a second. Yes. Follow. Boom. Done and done. Dunt and dunt. So I'm going to erase like this part in the center right here of her nose. Because. I feel like I want to do more of like a slightly lighter orange and then kind of have it going up that way I like to think of like when you're doing your lighting and your shading i like to think of it as like putting makeup on your character but all over like not just like in one like tiny spot but just like all over and so you want to like blend it in and make it look natural the same way like a makeup artist would make their stuff look super super natural like you you can't tell the difference between like one part and another
and yet you want to highlight very specific parts of like where you want the eye to go i think that's been for me that's actually been something i've been struggling with a little bit is trying to make sure that like if you're looking at a something i've drawn like your eye goes to a specific you know part and so i've been i've been working on trying to figure out more color theory like recently and like diving a little bit deeper into that just to make sure that like when i sit down and i draw like a piece or whatever i have people looking at all of the parts but then focusing on those super specific things I want them to look at. I'm going to do the eyes. I was like, hold on, do I have add on here? Because if I didn't, that was going to be a bad time when all of a sudden uh, her whole face lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. Bean, you should do more, uh, like, more fantasy and stuff. Because I don't know if you remember, I, you sent me some stuff a while back. And, like, I still have it. It's in one of my bags. It's, like, the bag that I put all the stuff from, like, my friends and just family and stuff. It all goes in that bag so that I can have it for the rest of my life. So it's in there. And there was this, there's this thing you did, and it was a person in, like a little pool and you did like a whole background and shit and i just in my head i always built like like a storyline along that like somebody was on a big long journey and they finally got a chance to like chill somewhere even if it was just for like a little bit and so i always imagine that you would do like some stuff like that you would go and do more uh pieces like that kind of have like a whole like little storyline we need the fantasy warhammer to your 40k of a universe bean 100 like that's not even a joke i would love to see bean actually do like a whole full like storyline and everything so i'm gonna i'm gonna make her forehead glisten a little bit it's gonna look ridiculous and i'm gonna have to erase half of this i already know it okay never mind Joke's on me. I didn't. But I'm going to come down here. I want to light where her, her eyebrow is. There we go. Get the eyebrows looking A1. A1 like some day ones, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yes. Alright, that's starting to look kind of decent, I think. Um, I gotta do the little chin. Every guy, everybody has the little chin booty right there. Do the little chin booty right quick. What's funny is like half of this gets posted to social media. So it's not like people are looking at them super details, but it's, I know it's there. So I have to work on it. And I mean, I will add, I'll put this up as like the print or whatever too. So like when it gets printed, it's got to look nice as well. Music got me so fucking hyped right now. <laughs> like, this music's so hype. A chudy. 
Vermont, I hate it. <laughs> oh my god. We got a hella chewy out there, man. Damn, for real? Yeah, bro. Damn, girl, did you see him? Mm. He got too much chewy. Mm -mm. That'll get in the way, you know what I mean? Reggie <laughs> is now your fault. We can be talking about chooties all day. Bless you. I chewy. <laughs> I can't stand y'all, man. All right, so this is where I gotta like fake the collarbone a little bit. Let me blend this out. Just, just looking. This is looking like something. I don't want to say what it looks like, but it's looking like something. I might have to erase that a little bit. Uh, let me... Right here. And this is like one of those moments where I might be getting caught up in detail a little bit too much. And I could probably move on because ain't nobody paying any attention to this. They're staring at her chuty. And that's it. Here, this is the part people really looking at. It's right there. You gotta have that, you gotta have that spot where you gotta give them some, some glow. A little bit of finesse. You know, blend it out a little bit. Let it come on up. Make make sure they're nice and whatever. <laughs> chuty is a thing now. 100%. 100%. Chudy is now a thing. And now I'm going to identify it anywhere I go. I'm like, yo, yo, yo. Look over there right quick. I'm like, what? I'm like, motherfucker got a big ass Chudy. <laughs> Huge. I'm like, why? What are you looking at? I'm like, just put it in. Spot, please, girl. I'm looking at Judy. What happens if it's like? What happens? What happens if it's a double Judy? Like, is that is that Judy? Is that like too much Judy? Is that when we get into like thick territory? Like, damn, that Judy thick as shit. I need to know like what's our what's our over under. Let's put some glow on here. Make sure they got, got some nice glow. Got some nice. Uh, I mean, it's, they're they're not going to compare to the Chudi, but. And then, so, I do need to do something with like this part of the chest to differentiate part below it but I don't want to overdo it it can look kind of can start looking a little goofy so just brighten it up just a little bit I do have to fix this part over here uh, with her shoulder so I'm gonna come I'm gonna actually come back over to the shoulder and like get rid of some of this color a little bit Clean that up. I need to see how much much color I can add back into this part right here. 
none apparently. There we go, that's looking better. So now I can clean up this. And this will actually start looking better. Well, would you look at that? Sometimes this shit actually works out. I feel like I do that with every single picture. There's always something on each picture that I have to fix and fundamentally change. And every time I do it, the picture looks better. So if I would just do that from the start, it would always look great. But apparently that's not how I work. I have to go back and fix my mistakes. I'm learning. All right, let me work on these fingers a little bit. Get them kind of warm, warmed up a little bit. I need to like mess with where her knuckles are like I've never been really good at getting the knuckles to look the way I want so I've kind of like avoided even messing with those because it always looks like a smudgy mess so I guess that's something I need to just start working on a little bit more just kind of like play around with it a little more I downloaded uh, a ton of hand references and just sat and just drew hands for like a week straight. So I could kind of get them like not looking like sausage fingers anymore as much. And yet they still look like fucking sausage fingers. So that's something. I feel almost like I need to I feel like I need to fix this hand right here, but I'm going to see if my lighting can fix it. Because I feel like it's a little too, too long. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake this part. I'm going to pull it down. And then this is where, this is, this is now considered the side of the hand. I started doing cartoon square hands and I haven't been happier. Wait, what do you mean like cartoon square hands? Let me see. Where them square hands at? I'm kind of that that kind of does it a little bit by faking it and putting the light on like the side of the hand or on like the top of the hand and and making the side look like it's not connected to it anymore. That kind of fixed what I've been wanting to fix. All right. Yeah, so that looks a little bit better to me. So my iPad just dimmed like on me. So now my view of the colors is probably like worse than y'all's view of the colors. I'm gonna have this part of the hand get lit right here. And then essentially the light stops right there. There we go. Smooth that out.
do want to do like a kind of glowy part right there. Go down the center of it and then kind of taper it to the side. And then I'm going to take my eraser and kind of erase part of it so it looks like it has a better blend. I think that's why I love digital art. It's like you can just, you can experiment and just like try something and see if it works. And if it doesn't, you didn't lose like hours and hours of like work. get like the front of the knee there we go it's just starting to look a little a1 now so i'm actually jump back to shading here in a second uh because i need to fix this knee to build it out a little bit. Knees are weird, man. I can never get knees to look exactly the way that they need to look. But there's like times when I'm just like, I can send you some links. Uh, I just started doing it and it's all going to be related to my Star Wars game. Ooh, please. So wait, are you like, are you building a like a tabletop? Kind of getting there a little bit. All right, so now I need to... Zelda in it. I can feel it. That's looking a little bit better. Uh, let me grab the last color. I was using that one. And I can go on the edge highlight and kind of like not make 
not give it a glow, but like make it a little bit lit up. Because it's like the most subtle thing that you'll ever see. So I'll just leave that like that for right now. Uh, I'm in a, a Star Wars FFG game. What's an FFG game? Playing an old clone engineer a few years before the episode three. I don't think I have your Discord anymore. I don't think I have my Discord anymore. Shit. Hold on. I thought it popped up. I thought it would pop up if you type it. Do I? Does the command not work anymore? I don't, I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't think any of my stuff works anymore. It might all be messed up. I need to like, I need to fix everything. I thought I did the other day, but apparently I freaking didn't. So there's that. Um, all right. So I think, oh, got to do the feet. We got the feet. Foot fetish enthusiasts everywhere, literally. About to kill me because I freaking forgot the feet. Uh, and then we can do the rest of it. I haven't done the hair yet. I'm gonna actually just do the hair last because uh, of how unique her hairstyle is. Do you use stream elements bot before? It turns itself off sometimes. Oh. I'm gonna have to look. I think I have Cloudbot, I thought. I thought it was like, is it not in the chat? It might not be. I don't freaking know, man. I don't see it. Uh, I'll figure it out tomorrow, though. Yeah, Cloudbot turns itself off. You just got to go toggle a setting. Ah. Psst. Foot fetish is hate him. For this one trick. This one neat trick he does on all his pictures. Hides the feet. Rob Liefeld is his biggest fan. Why? Because he hides the feet every time. All right, I think I'm done with the skin. I'm going to do the lips and nails. Get those sufficiently luxuriously looking. I'm actually not done with the, uh, with the skin. I lied. There's like one thing that I need to add to the skin, which is like the simplest thing but I do need to go back and add it here in like half a second. I love making lips look like luscious and having like health. Like you can tell that I'm a makeup fan. Oh, thank you, Bean. I'll really be showing my age when it comes to like stuff like Discord. Like 100% show my age with it. Let me go back to I'm gonna go back to the skin for like half a second. Uh there was something I forgot to add in the highlights. Actually, where is my there it is. So something that I started noticing is that the top of your lip will sometimes have like a little glow right on like these parts. And so I've started adding that in because I think it looks kind of cool. 
And then of course, uh, here in this section, you will sometimes have, you'll have stuff. You'll have your little, I don't, what is that section called? Get those highlights, baby. You gotta get the highlights. I swear to God, highlights are like my favorite thing, but also without the shadow, you can't have highlights. Um, so I do need to add this part. I don't know how I forgot about it. Apparently I was tripping when I drew this picture and did not freaking add it. So I'm gonna smooth these highlights out just a little bit. Just a little, just a smidge. Just a little smidgen. You know what I mean? Throw a little something on them. Right here. Uh -huh. Keep it looking kind of nice. Kind of nice. All right, so I am gonna go back to the shading too because I want to add There we go. Looks good. Puts on top hat. <laughs> Just a smidge. I too am a uh, squid of culture. Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. All right. That looks good to me. So now I need to go back. I need to do the highlights for the nails. The old nail arenas. Uh, yeah, there's that one right there. I'll put a little more highlight on this upper lip. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, you want to make it kind of like sparkle a little bit. You know, she strikes me as somebody who like takes care of herself. You know, good hygiene. You know, puts on, puts on uh, like the safe for the environment kind of makeup that gives your your skin that radiant glow. There we go. All right, I'm gonna do the highlights on the nails, baby. Let's go. I feel like this is probably like one of my favorite parts too. It's like making the making the nails just have that shine. That nice shine. Get some nice healthy nails. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh, that music nasty dog. Uh, uh, uh. All right, hold up. Let me do, let me let me do the highlights of the eyes before I get like too much into it. Add clip your ass to that layer. All right, so for the eyes, take this. We're gonna make them glow a little bit down here on the bottom. I like to lighten them up just just a little bit just a smidge you know what I'm saying and sometimes I'll smudge them out uh, too much and make them too too uh, dark again I'll come back put that back on it Now I should have gone and added added uh, eye details, but when I do my next uh, pass for highlights, I'm gonna end up adding stuff like right in here. And it'll be kind of like that to add just a little bit of a glow. Um, I mean, I could do it right now technically, but I'm not. Cause I, I still wanna mess down with this just a little bit.
make him glow just a smidgen. You know what I'm saying? All right, got those, and then I'm gonna actually just grab that and put it right next to the eye. Smudge it out just a little bit. Give it some brightness. You know what I mean? Try to make it kick in a little bit. Makes you want to order her some like some coffee or something at Starbucks or whatever. You know, you you kind of like in your in your feels when you like look at her. That's the feel that I try to get with like my pictures. Like you want to fall in love with the people that I've drawn, whether it's guy, girl, non-binary, fae, whatever. You know, I want people to just fall in love with the pictures. Like, that's it. So, one of my friends, uh, their name is Possumai Joe. And so, they're one of the people that I use for makeup stuff and i realized that in a lot of their like eyeshadow pictures that they had like a highlight a very bright highlight dead smack in the middle of their eyelid and then there was just like a soft glow on the rest of their eyelid and i started doing that in my pictures because i thought that that like really heightened the way that my eyes looked gave them a lot of attention especially when i added shadow like right above that part and it just so happens it was like it just it just so happened that was like how somebody in real life's kind of eyes and makeup and eyeshadow and all that looks oh riles you fine i'm just in here just i'm doing my drawing thing uh i'm probably gonna go maybe for another like tennis uh one was pretty much my cutoff time like one uh p.m eastern time was my cutoff time but I'm going to go for a little bit longer. I do feel my pills starting to kick in just a little bit. I think that's looking good. I think that's actually... It's kind of coming across the way I, I want it to come across. Huh. All right, let's do the let's do the top. I might actually be able to finish this tomorrow. Let's work on this top just a little bit. All right, so for the top, some things I need to. I started everyone on a rabbit hole. What? Wait, what rabbit hole are we going down? I want. I want to see the rabbit hole. All right, I'm gonna do this part. This part will be highlighted just a little bit. This part uh, over here. Let's do right here. um goblin i was i was a forum kid but i wasn't in uh irc kid like i would get on irc here and there but it was mostly just to find like music and then i never stayed on there in chat like that was never like what i used it for so the idea of uh like how discord works in terms of just like it's sitting in like chat rooms all day like, I can't do that. Like, I'll go in, see maybe, like, the one thing I'm kind of looking for, and then I kind of bail out. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why I can't, I can't really be super successful on Discord. It's just because of that. But I mean, otherwise, like if it's if it's forums, I could sit in forums all day. Like I used to just be on NeoGAF all day long. Mostly looking at stupid shit, but I mean, that's what I did. You know what I mean? Um, all right. So I'm going to get I'm going to try to highlight up here a little bit. A little bit. Kind of 
blend it down just a smidge. And one of the things I like to do here is right on the edge, I like to put a highlight. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually do uh, a shadow on here too so it has that separation. But it ends up making like the fabric look like it's popping. smudge this edge just a little bit too like smudging kind of gets rid of the color or the brightness a little bit kind of lowers the value a little bit and also kind of like acts as anti-aliasing all right so for this part i need to make sure this is lit on the top like the north face I need like these parts to be like super separated from the parts underneath them. song is kind of making me think of uh, Stranger Things. so satisfying like being able to make stuff look like it's kind of like shining has like a little shine to it it's like super satisfying it's like i understand wanting to speed up the process a little bit but like having stuff just be super super you know like shiny and like being able to kind of like dial that in by hand is like some of the most satisfying fucking like drawing ever and then normally I would not do this at this stage but I'm gonna come in and just add like these like little highlights right here to kind of give it almost like a little bit of depth oh my god I freaking love it I 
like the it's like to me it's like the subtlest thing but it feels it feels like being able to make the fabric come alive a little bit You know when you get like that tingly sensation like in your stomach when you're on a roller coaster and that shit just drops on you like that's what this is for me it's like being able to like do something like this and like make it actually look decent i remember i was like i was just studying people's stuff and i was like how is it that people can get things that just look like it's popping like this and I just sat there and I just kept like trying over and over and over again. And I, it was like one very, uh, one very specific piece that I drew. And then I was just like, fucking new thing unlocked. I see, I'm gonna use the spots where I didn't have the the shadow and I'm gonna just dial in like a couple more things there make it pop just a little bit more because I want the I want the top to look like it's kind of like silk almost I think that's all I'm gonna do tonight. These pills starting to kick in. Uh, who are we? Are we raiding somebody? Can we raid somebody? I don't know. Am I allowed to raid people? Let me go on. I'm gonna look on Twitch right quick. I'm gonna see what's on there. I'm gonna see who's who's popping on on old Twitchy Twitch. Let's see if any of my homies are on there. I don't see anybody that I know online right now huh all right well anyway i appreciate y'all uh actually i'll go back hold on let me let me let me go back to the drawing real fast just one more time so this is this is what we got done tonight we did uh a hell of a lot of the shading and about halfway to the light the lighting the highlights um so tomorrow I think we'll be able to finish the highlights and then just do whatever little touch-ups we need. And then I'll be done with this one. And when I come back probably next week, I will be fully in Clip Studio. Because this is what I was working on in Clip Studio Paint today. So I'll be fully in Clip Studio. So it'll be a, a freaking lot slower. Oh, okay. Catch up, John Mustard. Let me... Um, let me jump over there. John, I see him. And then I am going to, I'm going to do the little, the little follow thing and then we'll go over there. But so next week it won't be this, this piece, this is Zelda. Uh, this is just like a test piece for me to mess with, um, with clip studio, but um, tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can finish this up on stream. I keep looking over here where my laptop is. The camera's up there. I'm going to finish this up on stream tomorrow. Uh, so I'll be back at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come back if you really enjoy what you saw. And maybe we can we can finish this up. We're going to raid Ketchup John Mustard. Raid Ketchup John Mustard. Hi, I'm glad that you came through. Like it's honestly, I'm just I'm super appreciative 
that Bean just told people about me, and then I'm super appreciative that Killer Koala came through, and everybody's just been fucking cool, man. Like, if y'all if y'all love what I do, just come back. I'll be here. Um, so for anybody who might watch this on YouTube or whatever, thank y'all for watching as well, and I love y'all. Thank y'all in the chat for just vibing with me, listening to this crazy ass music. And let's go, let's go get our raid on. I'm gonna click on this and see if I can actually. I don't, I don't remember. How do I raid? I don't freak. I don't remember how to raid. Wait, it's this one. Catch up, John Mustard. I'm, bro. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. We got eight seconds, seven seconds, five seconds. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to sleep right after this. Freaking love y'all. Let's go. Squid out. See my cheeks? They're blushing now. This is fun. You see what you've done? My fake, my mouth hole is in a U shape, which signals that you have made me blush. <laughs>